Rizal Economic Context The Economic Context in the Philippines During 19th Century Hi, my name is Cyril Bipipito Soksai 2E Good day everyone um, I made a short tutorial, of, tutorial video about the economic system or the economic status during the Rizal days the economic context during the 19th century was illustrated the industrialization was applied to the extraordinary transformation in the method of production, transportation, and communication. Substitution of manual labor to machines. For one, the industrial revolutions which refers to transition to new manufacturing process that made use of steam, powered, special purpose, machineries, factories, and manual production in Europe had an effect on the Philippine economy. Under the new leadership, Spain rehabilitated colonial policy that would have an effect on the Philippines with the goal of investigating the probability of the colonial-like Philippines, Borgen policy, and the reform were carried out. Discuss the three economic systems during 19th century. First, the galleon trade. Second, the Ecomenda to Hacienda. Third, is the Indulto di Commercio. Galleon trade. The Galleon trade, the main economic institution existing in the Philippines, was already a losing enterprises. As Spain sought way to salvage the dwelling economy of empire, the global wave of industrialization became a silver lining. As many imperial power in Europe and the West were undergoing industrialization and increased demand for raw material presented an opportunity to look into the agricultural potential of the Philippines. Thus, it was viewed that the transformation of economy toward being export-oriented, harnessing the agricultural product that could be yield from archipelago was the way to go. Galleon trade, this trading policy changed the system of the free trading in the Philippines, where in the other nationalities like Chinese are free to exchange their goods with the Filipinos had extra goods. Bulitas, uh, Bulitas is the ticket for the Galleon trade. You cannot attend the trading if you had no ticket a ticket called bulitas when the galleon trade is end the end of galleon trade galleon trade foolish true is trans pacific trade from 1565 to 1815 true that galleon shipping back and forth between manila cebu and Acapulco become a centrally central income generating business for the Spanish government in the Philippines and also created an intercultural exchange between the Asia Spanish America Africa and Europe the product from Philippines to Mexico Mango de Manila, tamarind, rice, carabao, cockpiting, Chinese tea and textiles, fireworks display, and tuba or 
coconut wine. And the trading from Mexico to Philippines was guava, avocado, papaya, pineapple, horses, and cattle. Next, the Ecomenda and Hacienda. The Ecomenda and Hacienda system is a labor system developed by Spain, granting large amount of the land to settlers in the America and claiming the ownership of the resources and of the natives. The Ecomenda and Hacienda system developed by an exchange among the natives for work in return to protection and education. Ecomenda condition to solve the issue of governance, Legaspi converted the land Indus into the Ecomenda. Next, the word Ecomenda comes from the Spanish encomender, which means to entrust. The encomenda is a grant of inhabited while living in a particular conquered territory, while the Spain gave the Spaniards colonized as reward of his service. The three types of encomenda: first, the royal; second, ecclesiastical; third, the private. Royal was the taxes will go to the king of Spain. The ecclesiastical was the taxes will go to the church. While the private, the private recommended given to the friend of king who contribution for the colonization. Hacienda. Hacienda was owned by the Ferrar and a Spaniard official. This is the uh, Hacienda is a very richest people. The Spaniard Ferrars belonging to the different religious ordered were the richest landlord for they own the best Hacienda agricultural lands in the Philippines. The rural folks who had li been living in this hacienda and cultivating them generation after generation become a tenant. An ecomanda system and the, the Filipino people, especially the native Filipinos, are become a slave of the Spaniard government and officials. They are worker in their own land and paid in a small amount. They also paid taxes even they have a small salary. They also perish if they did not work or follow the rule of the Spaniards. Next, the Indolto di Comercio. Indolto di Comercio. Indolto di Comercio, also known as a license to trade, was issued to the Alcalde Mayor. It was a mean to prevent the them from using the polo or tax from their own personal needs and to control the market. 1884, Indolto de Comercio was abolished because of the provincial governor. Indolto de Comendo, it is a right given to the alcalde mayor to engage in trade what made him rich and powerful. They have a responsibility to implement the rule and law also to collect the taxes in their territory. It was abolished in 1844 because the alcalde mayor abused his power to the extent of scandalizing the Spaniard. This time, the indulto de May de Comercio was the Filipino suffered because they they work her own land and her taxes give to the alcalde mayor. <music>